Hello my friends and welcome back to new video uh, In the previous video I showed you how to use the different types of button And in this video I'm going to show you how to customize the buttons uh, Sometimes we have a special type of design and none of the mentioned button in the last video uh, Are not uh, suitable for our design So we need to customize one of them or uh, all of them using our application in this video i'm going to show you how to do this so if you are ready please uh, hit the subscribe button hit the bell button give me a thumbs up and let's get started here uh, i have the same design as always a composable function my app i have added the column inside it and this blue frame is uh, this column I've called uh, the function here and here as well okay let's start with adding a button Okay, I have a rounded corner button. Here is my button. Uh, as I told you in the previous video, uh, the default type of button when we are adding it uh, is the rounded corner, but it's too rounded, too much rounded. Uh, so if you want to have uh, a square shape button, uh, you have to customize it and let's see how we can do it here i'm going to add a comma on the top and here starting with the shape uh, as i told you in the video about the surface there is a factor called rounded corner shape and you can use it uh, wherever you want in the button as well uh, if i am giving only a value a single value it will be implemented on all around uh, this button all corners and uh, as you can see if i want to implement it on a single side or a single corner i have to mention the address of that corner top start top end bottom end and bottom star i will show you two of them uh, like 10.dp it will be implemented all around the button yeah you can see the result and uh, if i mention which press uh, which side it will be implemented only on the side that I've mentioned. Okay, and let's see another thing. Uh, bottom end. And this time I'm going to write 20.dp. That's optional. Uh, that's not necessary to have uh, same size for each side and as you can see here i have the bigger corner here a smaller corner and like that uh, okay let's leave it like that and copy this paste it here let's go to the next button here instead of this uh, rounded corner shape uh, i can use cut corner shape and the same you can see here I have a cut here and a cut here and uh, non-equal cuts uh, and I can delete this to have cut all around the button same
Okay, that's better now. Uh, I can have another type. Uh, we were that all of them are the simple button. I'm just customizing them. Not like the previous video, like icon button, uh, outline button, text button. All of them are simple button. And as you see, I'm copying and uh, pasting them. Okay, uh, circle button here. Uh, the shape instead of this can be circle shape. And uh, here I can have a modifier. Okay, uh, the button is now in circle shape and as I showed you in the previous video, I can have uh, icon instead of the text. So we can use it as a floating action button. Just like this. Icons uh, dot uh, field uh, dot add maybe and here no and you can see the plus is in the middle of this circle uh, here i can have another button and here i'm going to show you uh, something else Okay, let's have it like this. The next factor that I can use is elevation. And uh, button default. that uh, button elevation and here we can have uh, two types of elevation uh, actually more than two types but these two are the most common default elevation and i'm going to write in that dp and uh, press elevation maybe Six or five DP. Uh, I think it's visible now. I have a shadow all around this button. Uh, let me show you another thing. Colors. Again, button default. Dot button colors, and here we can have. Uh, Container color and content color. You can use the palette or uh, give the custom colors or use the stored colors in the uh, XML color file. So here I'm going to use uh, one of my favorite colors. Okay, now it's uh, clearly visible that we have a uh, elevation shadow all around this button. And also I can uh, change the 
content color to maybe color dot gray the color of the content will be changed here and uh, if i add this here And you can see that uh, this color will be implemented on all of the contents that are inside this button. And the uh, uh, container color will be implemented on the area of the color, uh, the area, uh, area of the button. Uh, so it's like that. And the next thing that we can use is the border. And border struck uh, we need two factors here first the size 1 dp for example and then the color uh, it can be any color Just like this. Uh, now we have a border color and uh, a container color and content color. And instead of this, I can use dark gray. Make the content more visible. Okay, just like this. And these are the type of customization that we can do uh, on each button uh, there are some more factors and you can play with them you can check them by yourself uh, because this video will be so long i'm going to uh, skip them but the things that i showed you here in this video were the most important things and the most let's say useful things that you can use Till now we had two videos about the button, but in none of them I showed you how to use the unclick. Uh, in the next video I'm going to show you how to use this uh, unclick and change the text of the button or uh, set a text on uh, maybe another text and uh, maybe showing toast message or something like that. So please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be aware about that new video. Thank you very much uh, for your support. Uh, please, if you are satisfied of this content, give me a thumbs up to give me energy. And uh, see you in the next videos. Bye bye.